What is ETL life cycle? The following are the different phases involved in a ETL project development life cycle. 1. Requirement gathering. Business requirement collection also known as BRD. System requirement collection also known as SRD. 2. Design phase. High level design document also known as HRD. Low level design document also known as LLD. 3. Development phase. Mapping design. Code review. Pair review. 4. Testing. Unit testing. System integration testing. User acceptance testing also known as UAT. 5. Pre. Production. 6. Production. Go live. What is BRD? BRD stands for Business Requirement Collection. In this BRD requirement is gathered by business analyst from client and prepare a business requirement document also known as BRD or a business requirement specification also known as BRS. After completion of BRD, SRD comes into the picture which is the work of senior technical people. What is SRD? SRD document stands for System Requirement Collection. In this phase senior technical people or ETL architect will prepare the SRS or SRD document which contains software and hardware details. The SRS will include 1. Operating system to be used. 2. RDBMS required to build database. 3. ETL tools required. 4. OLP tools required. SRS or SRD document is also known as technical requirement specification. After completion of SRS, design phase comes into picture. What is design phase? Design phase is divided into two part. 1. HLD it is also known as high level design document. 2. LLD it is also known as low level design document. HLD document. 1. An ETL architect and DWH architect participate in designing a solution to build a DWH. 2. An HLD document is prepared based on business requirement. LLD document. Based on HLD a senior ETL developer prepare low level design document. 1. The LLD contains more technical details of an ETL system. 2. An LLD contains data flow diagram also known as DFD, details of source and targets of each mapping. 3. An LLD also contains information about full and incremental load. After LLD then development phase will start. Development phase. Mapping. 1. Based on LLD, the ETL team will create mapping, ETL code. 2. After designing the mappings, the code, mappings, will be reviewed by developers. Code review. 1. Code review will be done by developer. 2. In code review, the developer will review the code and the logic but not the data. 3. The following activities takes place in code review. 4. You have to check the naming standards of transformation, mappings of data etc. 5. Source and target mapping. Place the correct logic or not in mapping. Pair review. The code will reviewed by your team member, third party developer. Testing. The following various types of testing carried out in testing environment. 1. Unit testing. 2. Development integration testing. 3. System integration testing. 4. User acceptance testing. Unit testing. A unit test for the DWH is a white box testing. It should check the ETL procedure and mappings. The following are the test cases can be executed by an ETL developer. 1. Verify data loss. 2. Number of records in the source and target. 3. 
data load or insert. 4. Data load or update. 5. Incremental load. 6. Data accuracy. 7. Verify naming standards. 8. Verify column mapping. The unit test will be carried by ETL developer in development phase. ETL developer has to do the data validations also in this phase. Development integration testing. 1. Run all the mappings in the sequence order. 2. First run the source to stage mappings. 3. Then run the mappings related to dimensions and facts. System integration testing. 1. After development phase, we have to move our code to CAN environment. 2. In this environment, we are giving read-only permission to testing people. 3. They will test all the workflows. 4. And they will test our code according to their standards. User acceptance testing, UAT. 1. This test is carried out in the presence of client-side technical users to verify the data migration from source to destination. Production environment. 1. Migrate the code into the GoLive or production environment from test environment, CA environment. For training, support and consulting inquires. Call us, India, plus 91, 997, 799. 7254 USA +1772228 Mail training at bispsolutions.com www.bispsolutions.com training at bispsolutions.com